Yeah. Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Monday Night Smoke. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on, people? Jack, you all right there? Yeah, fam. Can I match these? <laughs> that was crazy still. <laughs> that was a sneeze on the... Bro, you better start reading out, fam. I tried to... Back in the game, bro. I'm back in the game. Yeah. Bro, big weekend of boxing, fam. Anthony Yard is back! Is, is is that performance enough for you to say that he's ready for Batavia? I didn't say all that. Let's 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 get into that in a second, bro. Let me just greet the great defeaters, man. Don't be so bloody rude. Shouts out to Blizzard202, Jermaine Williams, stay blessed, be real, Uncle John, a man like Raj, based the kid, Jack Scam, Osborne, Nabil, Josh U A, Mr. A, uh, Mark McGraw, Doughboy J, Mola Mola White, Tony, Kalechio, Natty 0027, Skyliner, the editor, uh yeah. Uh, Thomas Dune, Major Kado, Adam Q101, uh, Aaron Ozzy B, Black Super Sidebar, Ozzie. LB Ben, Riaz McAdam, uh, Doofus Creations, James Douglas, Boxing P for P, Jack, and we're here. Come on. A lot, a lot of storylines are going on, bro. A lot, a lot of storylines. You got the Lawrence Acoli situation with Eddie Hearn. That it's, beat just feels yeah. like it's out of nowhere. I know, Trav. You know, sometimes we mistakenly become right for no reason. We said it. You know when we saw um, re, um, React Pool yeah. in the mix? I was like, that's weird. That React Pool was... It was just found like it felt weird for me. Anyway, I don't know if it felt weird for you, but seeing React Pool so close to AJ, I was thinking, we got a Coley for that. This doesn't make sense. It was very strange, bro. It was That's very strange. strange. Remember when we done that episode, my, you man are talking on the phone. You yeah. man talk on the phone. Yeah, that friendship can't be, that can't be comfortable when it's like all of a sudden you man are chilling with the ops. Because he's fully in my weight class. What's going on? But well, only to only now we've kind of heard some words today where Eddie Hearn has basically said he's he's talking about loyalty. Now, ah, oh, that's what's wrong. Finally, I was sounding crazy. Yeah, it sounded nuts. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> I was shouting and everything. I was like, what's going on? There you go. He's talking about loyalty, yeah? And has has Akoli made a misstep? Because doing this job, doing this journey without that team, without that machine, mm-hmm. in the weight class that he's in, because it's, it's not an exciting weight class, bro. This is a weight class that the world does not care about, fam. Let's be honest. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But for me, a call is a hard, at some points in his career, has been a hard sell. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's one of the ones where it's like, who's got into his, Eddie, Eddie Hearn is saying that somebody's got into a Coley's ears. Who? Who is that? I want to know who's who's doing them little whispers. You know them whispers that mess up the deals? Yeah. Then I get yeah, in there yeah. and be like, yo, how come you ain't getting the AJ money, fam? You're supposed to, like, AJ's doing good, but, bro, come on, bro. You're supposed nah. to be there. And it just, it can no ruin one, your focus, bro. No one should tell me you should be getting AJ money. No, I'm just saying, there's there's whispers in the air that can sometimes ruin the vision, the long-term plan, and think, right, now, man should be there now. You're the guy already, bro. You're world champ. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It could get a bit mad. I don't know, man. I mean, we'll, we'll I, talk I, about I'm it. The killer is, not for me. I just want to stay on it for a little, a little bit longer. I'm like... You might need to repair that, red. bro. With what's going on in terms of you're gonna go up to heavy because the the attitude for him was go up to heavyweight. This guy's been a match room. This is like okay, when you're assigned yeah. when you're assigned artist, yeah. You know when oh. you're a signed musician and then you go independent, fam. But being independent, doing boom bap rap, ain't no one trying to hear that, bro. <laughs> no, no boom bap, <laughs> bro. You're not even realizing, yeah, Ed Lawrence. A Coley has gone from, if you ever see what Eddie pays me, you know I've been winning lately. How do you go from feeling like a winner to posting Django? Do you understand how significant of a change this is, bro? This guy, that means he's gone from, I'm balling to, I don't have enough. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) This This thing... The U-turn has been so crazy. I need to know what changed. <laughs> what changed? I've gone from baller no, no, to yeah. broke. Something happened. What was in the contract? <laughs> How can you make someone feel like that, fam? 
This guy was <laughs> enjoying <laughs> life. Nah, something changed. <laughs> <laughs> something changed. Well, some, someone's girl got moved to, and it's far bigger than money, fam. <laughs> because that fallout is is so insane. What, Trevor? I forgot about. He was flexing <laughs> on all of us. I was happy to watch it. Flex, man. Flex on, man. I don't care. Enjoy it, fam. You're balling, fam. Then he got the world title strap. I said, yeah, this guy's there, fam. Cool Jeez, out good big... morning, Britain. Good morning, Britain. And every um, book the science. book, the book, bro. The McDonald's PR thing, it was working. Everything was kind of great. Everything was, Something everything was, changed. the math was mathing. And now all of a sudden, it's interesting. It's interesting to watch the relationships are just in funny places. But again, let's not go to, with that, maybe we need to pod on that one. Cause I don't yeah, know. we need to pod on that. We can't maybe do we that right now. Just bro, speculate. There was some YouTuber boxing going on this weekend. Yeah, oh, yeah I watched some of it, you know. And you listen, let me tell you something. The fight I watched, yeah, absolutely disgusting. I've never looked at a heavyweight and thought I could absolutely knock this brother out. There's Which no one? doubts in my throat. This guy right <laughs> What? Bro, how dare you? That's how dare you don't do that. That is how you fight, yeah, in your nightmares. You know when the ops are ultimate and you're just on some slow, can't land a thing movement, bro. Look how bad this is. He did all that off the flinch, bro. He he raised <laughs> now. Let's break this down. Let's let's be based on Tony Fam. Let's break this down. This guy raises his right hand, yeah. Does nothing with it. Immediately shuts down all this guy's body uh, instincts and reflexes. Eyes closed. He's now completely over. <laughs> but why are they... Do you know what my thing is here? Yeah? Why are they fighting? Listen. So I just know this might not be your thing. This is my, um, my only issue here yeah, with the YouTube thing here yeah, is... Some of them don't need to fight. There's one guy that was so unfit here. He, bro, yeah. he lost the fight due to his own fitness, fam. Well, that was him. He, no, after no. the second round, he was done. There's another one. No, there's no oh, one. another one. Bro, one. I'm looking at this thing, I'm thinking, you're, this is why no one can ever spin me on this. Oh, no, nah, don't watch out for him. He's hench. I don't care about hench. Until I see you throw hands, that means nada, bro. Look how big this one is. <laughs> He's got the size advantage of him, and he's looking like a drunk toddler in there, just falling around. It's embarrassing, bro. Oh, man. But then, but then this is where it gets nuts, yeah? So off the back of this evening of boxing. Yeah. Jake Wood, right? Podcaster. Max Brannon from EastEnders, yeah? Oh, this was funny as hell. He got some tweets off because he was like, you know what? Enough is enough. He said, "Now nah, hold on, wait, let me let me let me not get this right." He goes, uh, "Slightly in the wrong order." He goes, "I've just cancelled my Dazon subscription. Not paying to watch YouTubers chase each other around the ring." Hashtag goodbye. goodbye. KSI comes back and says, "Listen, you were literally involved with the start of YouTube boxing. KSI versus Weller. This tweet was unnecessary, and I'm sad to see this from you, Jake." Jake comes back. I've got great respect for you, JJ. I've seen way too many YouTubers of late making outrageous claims of their prowess in the ring that undermine what professional boxers and, and boxers, pro professional boxing and boxers stand for, in my opinion. YouTube boxing works as it is, but it shouldn't be hyped as the real thing. It's really awkward when someone says, this you. The Pound <laughs> Podcast was in the studio recording next week's ep with Ray Winston and KSI ahead of the fight with Joanna. Cover Box Arena on February 3rd. He like no, no, no. So there's another one. If you type it in again, yeah, there's him at the fight, bro. Bro, Just smiling. Day. I look at this stuff and I'm like, how dare you? How dare you do, do that? Everyone's got to chill, bro. You invented this thing. You literally created the start. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm not even mad at YouTube boxing. How do you feel about YouTube boxing, bro? Um, I'm tired. I'm tired. Is is the fact that there's there's this little guy called Anthony Taylor. I don't know this. There's this. I just see him just getting touched everywhere. Like I'm just tired. I feel like certain men are talking about doing the work. I feel if you got to do the work before 
you have to have some level of skill. Don't just be out there on the mic doing big talking and you've got no skills. Like I could, Im- I could only imagine that heavyweight was sounding like I didn't watch any of his the um like the build up to it, but they sound and you have to you can't just jump into this thing. Like boxing's not it's not for play play. And as you see, you get touched. The ones that come in, I get no, don't get me wrong. I res- I can respect everyone making their peas in it. I respect the deji's made of us. I respect man them doing the money grab, but then I do love boxing. I do love watching it. And it does feel like, what is this version? <laughs> does that make sense? Well, the just... thing is, yeah, you at the same time, I hear you when it's like someone's rubbish, yeah, but they're not in there with with killers, fam. These men are not stepping in there. They're stepping in there with their age mates. All yeah. this is, is, is white collar boxing. Because white collar boxing, the mismatches can be crazy at times. Yeah. Someone looks like they're boxing. I just want the YouTubers to go because, well, is that the early, you know, let me be fair to them. They're I think the what it is. The they're the early phase. The problem is that people are having is that they're making money. No, I don't have no issues with YouTubers making money. Not you. The fact is the size of YouTube boxing is what's pissing people off. Because people are looking at it and they're like, yo, like, look, I hear it. Like, this thing's looking great. But look, why they got pay-per-view and da 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 They're out doing real boxing. And I hear that. But this is not their fault. It's not their fault. They've got handpicked people with massive followings coming together. It's going to have a lot of yeah. eyes on it, bro. I hear that. But I just feel like, again, as we're in the microwave generation, as I call it, just quick, it's quick. Yeah. yeah. You're, list, you're missing out on the fundamentals and you get shown up. All I want people to do is, again, just do some of the work because Ooh. you can't, like, it shows. When you haven't done the work, it shows. But what's going to happen is there has to be a YouTuber that starts to take it serious and starts knocking people out. And his when name, that guy comes... His name, his, name be... is, his name is Jake Paul and he's trying. He's on his way. He's on his way. That's the thing, though. But we don't even... People don't really consider Jake Paul as a YouTuber anymore. KSI are the same. They're kind of like, oh, but they're taking it a bit more serious, so it's all right. This is... It doesn't make... Like, it's, it's one of those things, yeah? It's making money. They're gonna make more money yeah, than casual boxing. It's more than a. They promoted the, um a KSI fight more than an AJ fight. That's what Maestro was telling us. Mm, mm. Yeah, you know I mean, there's. But I just again is when when we see because I don't think Jake Paul's been fighting any YouTubers yet. So I, a YouTuber just needs to get touched and then it lifts the levels because right now the level is just really low. You got man coming in, can't throw a punch, bro. He's fighting underwater. You yeah, just. So let's go. Let's go to to NBA and Street Ball, yeah. Yeah. And one when and one popped, bro. And one was take like the oh. energy was insane for yeah. and one mixtapes. When you put an NBA player amongst them, he stands out and dominates every single time. There's no comparison. No matter how good those and one highlights are, yeah. none of those guys can spar with an NBA player. But it doesn't stop the thing existing and people enjoying it. Like these men are just showing up, they're playing ball, and they go back to their regular jobs, bro. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Some of them get paid from the M1 tours and it was going cool. And it's actually a sad story because them man never really got the money they were supposed to They didn't to get what they should have got. Yeah. situation. It sounded like a... Anyway, yeah. let me not get into that. But those people watch M1 for what it was. And the same thing is happening with YouTube boxing. I don't watch YouTube boxing to see anyone fight anywhere near as good as these guys. Because I know that that's not going to be there. You watch because if you're a fan of this person, that person, what who would win in a fight between these guys? And then you follow the storyline from before and after. Yeah, right? it's just and and and, and it's, that's my thing again. How I fell in love with boxing weren't just because of the like the I get it, the personalities and stuff, but these man could box like you're you're in the ring watching a sweet science. You're in the ring watching guys that are thinking, how did you do that? And it was like it, yeah. it's you, you, like to, um, honor. It's an honor to be in that ring. It's like you're doing stuff that the mortal man can't do unless he works mad hard. But I'm seeing man just pull up and just get in there, and then they got then they got uh, then they got the legends on the undercard, fam. <laughs> they got like they got men who say, "Hey, run out and go and do the um, Campbell Hatton minutes, fam." That's insane. <laughs> this is insane. But again, you know what? Let me not complain. Shut this is, no, what it is. These- hopefully the levels go up. 
Dean the Great was cold. He can actually box. Like, there's a couple men in Salt Pappy is another one. A lot of men are saying, yeah, he's, he's yeah, don't throw hands. Don't. Yeah, he, he, ain't him, standard, yeah. he, he ain't standard YouTube level. They need to be careful with that. Nah, that when they, all I'm saying, hurt someone. <laughs> put Salt Pappy in there with like a like a boxer boxer, and let's just have mm. a because right. certain times, as you said, with the N one thing. Oh we, no, with the real fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I need to let's go into this yard thing though. As I was about to yard, say, yeah, because we spent way too long on this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anthony Yard, yeah. Is that performance telling you we're ready for Batavyev? What do you, you know think the not. performance? What do you think the performance? Oh, don't throw back to me. Don't throw back. No, to because me. no, because it, you know, your saying, line of your line of questioning shows me that you I don't understand, you casual or, or you have a different yes. perspective on what this was going to be. I didn't say be. anything. I just asked you a question, bro. Did your... it show me that he was ready for Batavyev? No, yes. but was it supposed to show me that? No. What was it? It was a run out so that man's yeah. not got the rust from last year, and then boom, then we're gonna go to Batavyev. That's what that was. So that means already then, bro. The, no, it's not ready right now. He did what he needed to do. The fight is booked, bro. I don't understand. Let's be honest here. Yeah, you got the world title shot booked. Yeah, the world title shot is there. Twenty eighth of Jan, twenty three. That's set in stone. Do you expect him to fight Watsi? Is that what you expect him to see? Tell me what you was expecting to see. Because a lot of men have been coming out saying. No, nah, he should be fighting this guy, that guy, this guy. And that, I'm like, bro, yeah. you were, what, what, Craig Richards? You should be fighting Craig Richards on Saturday. That's what you should have done. Hey, Trev, you're being really sensitive here. <laughs> no, because you ask me questions and I know where you're going. You're trying to do the little, the little, the little Honestly, flipping. It was just a normal question. <laughs> bro, I'm cool. Yard has got a big fight against Batavyev. I'm chilling, bro. I've got, like, again, I'm very relaxed in this situation. I expected him to win. If you ask me, did I expect him to win? Of course I did. I'm just saying, is this going to be... Right. All I want to know is, will this be enough? Is this enough work for Batavia? Because Batavia is next. That's all I'm asking. As a humble... Yeah, the thing is, yeah, you can say no, that, no, but the no, fact no, is this. The no, fact no, is this. No, I know you. I know you. Don't tell me you... No, 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 no. These men in the chat... They don't know you like I know you. So when you're asking questions, the seasoning and the layer, even if it's not even hey. physical, it's spiritual. You're a cheat. You are not cheat. I can't stand you. You're a cheat. I, you made me drop my phone, bro. You're a loaded idiot, bro. I can't stand you, bro. If I said, did you think that was enough? You're a dick. Do you know what's mad, yeah? The pressure, <laughs> the pressure is getting worse and worse. Because everyone knows what's coming. <laughs> the killer is... Because we know what's coming next, yeah. This is the big challenge. This is it. Uh, it, like, is, it is. It's next. Challenge. It's like the funny thing. This one is next. We can't. We don't get any more dress rehearsals now. This is it. Um, I wanted. The funny thing is, it's so hard because I wanted to see more in terms of the team to just learn. Because it was a fight where y'all just did a yard. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's he's really good in there, but then I think there was still some rust to get off though. Like, no, I'm first, not talking about first round. There was a couple of learnings where... gone. Oh yeah, I see. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But it's... learnings, you know what I mean. You know when you just little things like if I could go back now, if I could take like Denzel Bentley backwards, mm. there were certain things that we learned in that title fight that he probably wasn't ready for in terms of, and we say, oh, we got to work on that before because we when we talk about Batavia and Bivol, these are the best in the division. Are you yeah. with me? So we're yeah. going to learn. We're going to see a lot in there. And we got to know, are we ironed out all the kings? Are we ready? Because certain men have stepped up and the step up was a bit too... It was The elevation was a lot. So I'm not, again, I'm not dissing the performance. I'm not what you call it. I'm like, uh, have they turned every stone? Again, this is the second world title fight. So maybe they should be in, in, a, um, in a better space, ready mm. for this one. But is there, have they learned everything? Because again, it's a new guy into their corner as well. These are the questions I'm asking because I really want him to do it. That's the the funny I thing. Is I, I want think, him to do it. I think what we're gonna see, yeah, and I'll be straight up. I believe Yard has a chance in this fight. I believe he's got a good chance of winning this fight. Do you know what I mean? And I, I look at it and I'm like, Yard has actually. I think Yard's style has changed from Yard one and everything that's yeah. happened before. Yes. To what he's doing now. So in mm -hmm. that second Yard fight. He's, I think they're trying to build on that. Like, it's very much the I know who I am now type thing that I see from Yard, where it's like, this is what I do. It's power. Like, when he rips to the, like, 
I'm not I'm not playing games and trying to you know become anything else. So when he goes in there yeah. with Peterbiev, he's gonna find out if it's enough. He's gonna yeah. find out. Do you see what I'm saying? So whether or not we're gonna be deliberating, man wrote um what do you call it? Man wrote off Denzel Bentley way like way harder than this. Trav, you understand? Read, that again. read that, please. It's kind of facts. Yard did overcome the jab issue, but is the package ready for elite level? We'll see. Yeah, we will see. We will find out. We will find out. The package, yeah, 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 you're funny. But it's one of the ones where man wrote off Denzel Bentley heavily against Janibek, yeah? Oh, he's not ready. He's not done. This is Yard's second time at that level. So he's had a taste of what it feels like to lose and get, and, and get stopped at that level. So for him to go again with Baterbiev, he's much more dangerous than Kovalev. You gotta know that he, this guy believes in something. They know what they're doing. So you know what? We're, gonna, we're gonna find out all the same at the same time. I, I know that you're in full, bro. You're locked in. Yours locked in is the whole um, camp because you're not even. You saw the comment section, bro. You're not playing around. You had to just. Slap. I'm, I'm just saying, is it? Like he's got a chance Chab in this fight. He's locked in, bro. Chap's got no time for foolish jokes. Foolish games. He's he saw the package thing. He said, "You know what? I don't care." No, okay, Trav, No, they're ready again. I now I know you know your dog. I believe. What, you, what do you think is going to happen in this fight? You think man's getting that guy out there, get stopped to the first, second, third? You no, I don't. I don't. Think, I think it was clear. I think honestly, I think the like, they picked. Sorry. I think oh, the fact that he picked just um, the other day was it was smart because he was a pressure fighter. He did come forward. He did try to land his own shots. He, so I can understand some of the thinking in, but Batavia is going to be that times 100. You know, he will he will add pressure. Now, again, I've never seen someone really um, walk yard down. I've never seen him be in that situation before. Most of his fights, he's never met that type of challenge. So this is one of the things that I was kind of... Um, you wish you would see and see how he how he operates like that, but there's not a lot of men in the division that you can say will casually walk yard down, which is a again a respect to him. You know, mm. the one thing that we said he was dealing with with the jab, we can see that he's handled that now. He's he looks comfortable dealing with it. He looks well. Again, we need to see the levels, but the last yeah. one we saw Linden. Linden didn't look like himself. That the hardest thing is Linden didn't feel like himself. In that fight, maybe y'all took all his skills and powers away from him, but we never. I, really, I watched that. Yeah, but, no, I think I watched that back maybe like a couple of weeks ago. Um, when I was yeah, I was away, and yeah. I think for that one, I feel like he got hurt early, and it mm. just it just kind of just you know when something just changes you a bit in the fight because yeah. I'm like if you've won the fight a certain way to come in and get completely dominated like that is like what's different now. Do you know what I mean? It's either the occasion was too big or he got hurt early on in the early exchange. He got hurt in the last one. Remember when he, remember that, we always got harken back to it when we talk about the Fury against Wada, no problems. Fury versus Wada in that final round when Fury was like, I can beat you. There yeah. was that sign that, and maybe there was some, because again, they didn't want to make this fight. I remember them not, not trying to, there was that big right. jubilar of, um, there was that big story of them not wanting to make this fight next or even almost conceding that we'll fight this, let him have a couple fights, then we'll fight you, which pretty much says we can't win this fight. So if that was the energy going in, and remember, the, you got, I remember the press conference, everything was happening, which gave me a sense of a lack of belief. Not for him. When your coach, when, he's, when they're arguing, saying, you didn't want to see me, you didn't want to fight me, and that's coming from your coach, there's no... Oh, but look at it like this, yeah, and then we're going to open the lines up in a second, right? Yeah. You look at Yard's two performances where he's he's come up short against Kovalev and with um, Arthur, right? Both mm -hmm. of those um, those fights, the jab is what caused him mad issues and because he tried to play their game with his jab. So he tried to play the game with them, hoping they would open up, and nothing opened up, and it just ended up in a, in, in a defeat in both. Yeah, he got stopped in the first one, but it weren't like a stoppage where you say, yeah, yeah man, put hands on him. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's fatigue, like fatigue, and that was it. Whereas, like, Ronan Seven says here, he goes, it's just that Yard, he goes, no, it's just that Yard doesn't want to deal with the jab game anymore. He now wants to impose himself on his, on his opponent and throw hurtful shots. Well, someone's going to impose said, doing, that against, doing that against Baterbiev is a different story. But yes. what he's doing, he's leaning completely into his strengths. Yes, that's smart. Baterbiev is going to have to do the same. And now it's going to be a gun show. Who's got more gunpowder yeah. in this thing? Yeah. That's what that fight then, is going to look like. But then, again, it's been argued that 
while Beteviev is on the gun show thing, he's a very clever boxer and he has got a lot of skill in there. So he can outbox an opponent just because Bibble's incredibly, at, he fights at a high level, doesn't mean Beteviev hasn't got those skills and that footwork. I in, hate you. you know, so it'll be interesting to see. The, the link so is in the lines. chat now, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Javante Davis, them not took the liberties, innit? They, te- like, we thought we was getting the fight. I, Bruce, Bruce Kai's um, <laughs> response to it was so funny. I said, who? <laughs> you know, because everyone was excited thinking there's been this talk about um, Garcia. This is the next fight, bro. When we saw who they're fighting, we said, this is this is some nonsense. But I, I really feel that fight is going to happen. I don't know why. I just feel it. We'll see, man. We'll Good see. Night. I know Tank has got a fight scheduled in January, and the guy yeah. he's fighting, I saw some, I saw a video of him. I'm like, yo, this guy ain't really an easy touch. You know what I'm saying? This guy's a bit of a tricky one to, to just throw and, in the mix. And so, we'll see, man. Tangle Link's cut. in the chat now, guys. It's, uh, I'm hoping it's going to start to heat up. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to start to heat up uh, in that division properly. Yeah, yeah. I'm really hoping for something. Uh, Roland Seven says, Yard does spar. I believe Tunde said that as a joke and a lot of people ran with it and still repeat it. Yeah, facts. They do. That's exactly what it is. Boxing, um, boxing, um, pound for pound, Jack says, Tunde after Jan 28th um, will either be the greatest or the worst coach. That's harsh, but we'll see what happens, isn't oh, it? Oh, what, what, we'll what is. Yeah, because if he wins, he's an absolute mastermind. <laughs> we planned this. <laughs> Come on, son. Come on. Oh, my days. I should call, I should call Spence and say, yo, what are you thinking is going to happen? Call him out of the blue. That would actually be so hilarious. I'm going to call him and say, yo. <laughs> yo, are you ready? Let me call him and say, Spence, are we ready for, like... The Terviev, like, <laughs> yeah, let me call it. I don't know why I'm like this, you know. One second, let's connect the All team. Right. Maestro, we'll get you on in a second, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta just quickly call Spence and find out where I've gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, what have I done? I bet he doesn't pick up. No, nah, because I just gotta check my ease. I haven't got it in my phone again. <laughs> I've updated right, my phone. Just send it to me though, but let's bring on Maestro. Send it to me. Send it to me now. Cool. <laughs> That'll be wicked. <laughs> <laughs> you, what, what do you reckon he's gonna say? Uh, you little pussy or still? <laughs> you little Gino. <laughs> you little Gino. Listen, he's he's gonna I insult myself. you. I just say it to you just now. He's gonna yeah, insult yeah, you yeah. the minute you pick up this phone. You know, done it now. Maestro's dropped out. He's having some issues. Ah, right, cool. <laughs> All right, here we go, Spencer. Let's go. I don't know if he's going to pick up. It's looking nuts. Nah. After a while, he's he's going to stop in it. After a while, yeah, 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 yeah. He's busy, fam. Yo, oh, Dillian, Dillian White is back this weekend as well. Hold on. Before you say Dillian, someone failed a drug test and it's really quiet in these streets, fam. Who? Oh, I just saw it on uh, Michael ben- um, Benson just posted it. One second. There we go. Zelani Tete. There you go. For the drug test. For the July fight. Check what, Pops? Yeah. <laughs> Boxing border control, fam. Oh, you are not loud. You're a cheat. Boxing board see, of control. See, you know what's funny about this whole week? I don't even know who that is. I'm not going to lie to you. You see what's funny right. about this whole week here? Yeah? The moral high ground. Whenever someone tries to take the moral high ground. Bro, we're seeing it with the World Cup right now. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This whole yeah, thing yeah. about Qatar. Man, I'm okay, mad. Everybody yeah. looking hypocrites, bro. Everyone looks nuts. The moral Everybody. high ground. Is, bro, Frank Warren, how many interviews did he do about Conor Ben? <laughs> Bro, this thing. Was... Let's get Chris in, bro. Let's Chris, get... what's going on, bro? Can you hear me? We yeah, can hear you loud and clear, fam. How you doing, guys? How you doing? All Talk good, to man. us, man. What's going on? Do you know what? I'm not sure about yard. You know, I can't Uh-oh. lie, guys, Uh-oh. because um, I'm not sure how Tunde's navigated yard. You know, to prepare for Baturbia, mm. and um, I question. think in boxing, it's a it's about levels. And I think 
once again, Yard might just jump. He might just bite off too much that you can chew again. And um, Baturbiev, yeah, people don't realise he's actually a world-class boxer than a puncher. Baturbiev, they could say outbox Usyk in amateurs. Okay. I don't know if he's watched um, the amateur fight. I ain't where, seen. Um, nah, I ain't seen. Turbiev and Yusuf. I haven't, I haven't seen it. No, no. But but Turbiev beat beat Yusuf. I try to go watch that. So like, I'm trying to say here, yeah, I can't really see how yard yard can win than a puncher's chance. Fair enough. You know what's Fair crazy? Enough. Yeah, this is the this is what's mad. I, I I hear the point you're making, and just again, um, hindsight is always twenty twenty, right? But you yeah. say to yourself. Have we done the work? And this is when Travis, I don't, Travis was trying to like load the question and gold him into something. I wasn't, mm. honestly, I'm like now because I saw a thingy at the, I saw um Yard at the, at the thingy party, you know, energy. The energy's nicer. Like, I'm like, you know what? He's, a cool, he's actually a cool guy. Like, I felt bad. When I was at the party and he's like, bro, I've been a fan of you for so long. I thought, oh man. But <laughs> now, now yeah. I'm kind of concerned, and I'm saying to myself, mm. "Have we have we done everything for championship level? Because this is not someone that we have to rush. You know, like how we got Craig That's Richard. Insane. Craig yeah. Richard, I would say, had to just take a chance because Eddie Hearn's light weren't truly on him, so he had to um, almost gamble at greatness. Right. Where you say with a yard, we've got time to iron out a lot of the kinks to be ready, like and be our best self." When we're there, I don't mm. know if I'm shit. But yeah, but is that, yeah, but if we look at the age of the fighters, I don't know if you have all this time that you're alluding to. What do you it's mean? Gonna, what not, age have, 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 no, you're talking about you're saying that um, Yard has got all this time, right? Is that what you were saying just now? What's that? Say that one more time. You were saying that Yard has all this time to get all this stuff right before you, you take. Yeah, I feel he's got some more time to get some stuff right. At least to uh, to fight a few more higher level pressure fighters to know if we're gonna be. But at forty years old, is that not the best time to take take on this guy whilst he has a belt? He don't look like he's diminishing in his powers. I don't know what are you saying, Chris. I'm saying yeah, like Lyndon Arthur rematch was basically the fight to set him up to Baturbiev. Lyndon Arthur is nowhere near levels. He's nowhere near even Craig Richards. You could say that Joshua Boatsy is more prepared to fight Bivol now because he actually fought Craig Richards, who yeah. actually nearly outboxed um And that Bolotniks fight was good for him as well. That, yeah, that yeah. Just hard-headed. Bolotniks is a, is a, it'll, it's a long-lasting type fight. So you just yeah. you learn a few bits about yourself in the ring like Guys, that. I would ask you the questions. Do you think Anthony Yard is prepared for Baturbiev? I think my my feelings are very much identical to the ones I had about Denzel Bentley going for Jelibek. Mm. It's one of the like more. I think no. I, I I believe in him. He's in more prepared. He's yeah. more prepared. But in, in terms of like, has he? How was he prepared? There's more belief. It's more on the side of belief and faith. Yeah, yeah. it's for you climb the ranks and you've done it that way. There is right, a thing right. where you guys know something that we don't. Denzel Bentley clearly knew something that we did it because you saw him lasting in there with Johnny Beck or even competing. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's it's yeah, along that's that one. That, that's the correct way because Denzel's one was more of a kind of shock the world. If he had he won that, everyone will be like bloody hell, like we didn't expect this. Where I would say Yard has got like we know he's got weapons that will make him that can make him dangerous in that fight. But we understand the level of opponent that he's against. Mm, yeah. So it's like, he's... I don't think every stone has been turned, but sometimes you just got to jump in it. Maybe it's looking right, like... Right. Then I feel like this is a second title fight, though. So we have to kind of... We should be more prepared. And what to happens to Tunde? If Yard loses, what I'll happens to fair. Tunde? Tunde will get crucified. If, if anything <laughs> other than a belt comes back, Tunde will get crucified. But that that that's yeah. because there's a strong the dislike. There's a strong dislike for Tunde anyway. <laughs> he started right. Right. So. Right. Right. He's yeah. gonna be it even if even if my man becomes a champion. <laughs> love, I it will be yeah. James Cook. James yeah. Cook did it. Tunde didn't do nothing. That like, it will be the narrative will turn. I would love to hear how that camp sound. As Tunde's champion. interview, Tunde's interview as a champion at the press conference. 
Absolute madness. Absolute madness. madness. <laughs> Dream it, believe it. I told you. I told you. You didn't want to hear me. And tell him, I told him. Spencer will pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> Tun, he told you. I told you, Tun. <laughs> but all I can say, guys, all I can say here, on the flip side, though, if Yard could pull this off, that would be a, a madness. Bro, the, the division goes... No, if Yard... Again, four boxing, yeah? Yeah. You know, sometimes, just for... You need disruption. For mm, boxing, right. this could be one of the greatest things that could happen. Because I'm right. telling you now, yeah, give that belt to a champ, you Boatsy Yard, immediately. Like, they have to... give all. Again, it gets exciting, and again, these fights are here, home soil. I want to see that. I want to see there's all these men them just looking at each other, waiting for their moment. Mm. We need someone to be crowned champion. That's why I want to see a British fighter do it. And mm. I feel like this is one of our best chances because Bivol's got a lot of fight. Again, Canelo's got his Canelo's got his mindset on Bivol. It's like mindset. It's, it's that's gonna happen. I saw an interesting take today about Canelo and Bivol. Like someone saying that Canelo is, is low key waiting for Bivol to lose to someone else so he can just get out of it. <laughs> and I don't blame him if that's the case. I don't low blame key. Him. I would be, I'd be encouraging Bivol to fight everyone, boy. <laughs> no, but um, listen, this again, um, Chris, man, amazing conversation. Anything else you want to um talk about? Yeah, I was just gonna say like um. I just hope everyone gets behind Yard because obviously he's in the UK now. And this, I don't think, I think um, Spencer said that actually, I think Yard is the first light heavyweight to fight for Undisputed in the light yeah. heavyweight division. Someone said that, but then it was kind of debunked on Twitter straight afterwards. Right, it? It right, like, right. Nah, Roy, Jones, Roy Jones Jr. I think fought someone at light heavy and, and competed against a British draft. Okay. Name now. But yeah, I mean. But anyway, was, anyway, yeah. I just hope... Uh, Everyone gets yeah, behind we, me. Yeah, we, we, we will be behind The UK crowd, could, they could have a part to play. Do you know what I mean? Facts. Now, listen. Make it uncomfortable territory. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Now, no, 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 listen, bro. They booed U6 national anthem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, they got to do it respectfully. They got to do it respectfully. I'm saying, when them, when them man pull up, they don't care about outside noise and outside interference. Them man have got one job to do. Walk into the ring, no tune. No backing tune. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just. All right, guys, a hey, quick one, a hey, quick one. Do you, hey, do you reckon um, Yard or Tunde should play a bit of mind games? Because I remember like, I remember when Yard was like, he thought Baterbiev was a bit slow. And I saw the interview of uh, Baterbiev and that kind of... Yeah. Uh, that caught him off guard. He was like, slow? He's like, oh, right, I'll see, I'll see. He'll see, he'll see. So do you reckon Yard should play a bit of mind games before the lead-up and kind of make him uncomfortable? He's, he's got to do something. I don't know if the slow thing is going to be the one, but if he can find a nice little masterstroke mm. of an absolute head, head, you know what I mean? Some mind games, then yeah, bro. It's not going to be... Yeah. But it's, no. but it's, tough, it's tough to break into those guys. They're, they're men are quite... Yeah, it wise, is. They're it is quite yeah. And especially with the language barrier at times, yeah? Them man will... <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, he's calling me. Obviously, he saved, it, yeah. well, he saved in my phone as the knowledge, fam. Obviously. I, the knowledge. You're you live. Say, you're live on, listen, you're live on, man. Listen, you're live on the channel. We say, I'm asking you right now because we're talking, we're talking yard again. It's, it's coming. Are, are we ready? Are we ready? Or um, for this undertaking. Well, what you're saying, are we? You have to say we as a collective. Then if you say, are we ready? Then it's all about energy. And if the we, in, if the we in question is us as a collective, right? Mm -hmm. As a cultural collective. Oh, sugar. Of ideas and and strength and unity and being in unison. Then, then you have to ask yourself: Are you ready? If you're including yourself in the inclusion of being part of the we, uh, then if yeah. you're ready, then we're ready. All right, cool. So culturally, yeah. culturally, I'm ready. Now I'm talking to you as the as a man that's been in boxing for a long time. The knowledge. It, are we done? Have we done everything we need to do to be ready? Well, for well that it's not a case. But, well, well, the thing about it is this: is like. Um, Anti Yard is his own mind. Baba Tundi Ajay is his own mind. Spencer Ferns is his own mind, right? 
Um, James Cook is his own mind. Addy is his own mind. That's the team that their men have put together. Mm. Right? Lennox Lewis um, phoned me today and we was on the phone. We had a really good chat. We spoke about quite a few things. Yeah. Right? And Lennox Lewis was saying like, people are getting fooled into buying into other people's ideals. So if someone tells you that this man's a big tough man, this man's a big ass bad man and all the rest of it, then we buy into it. If that was the case, then Lennox Lewis would not have gone and defeated Razor Ruddock. And now when we look about it in hindsight now, there's a pretty easy victory for Lennox Lewis. You know what I mean? On the 31st of October, 1992. Are it was we, an easy win for him. Are we, right? calling, it easy... Is it, are we seeing Batavia's feeling Razor Ruddock right now? Or are we... No, what I'm trying to say is like, if you gas someone so much, mm. you know what I mean? And with the prices of the gas going up so high, you don't want to be gassing up people too much. <laughs> Same right, the living. That's, that's, right, that's, that's what I'm saying. And I'm, wait, wait. So if I'm saying, I've, I've seen him, I've seen, uh, who was it? Um, I see that, that guy Junior drop him. I've seen, I've seen Callum, Callum Johnson drop him. Mm-hmm. Right? And I know the key shots on those things to go drop him because I remember doing the, when he fought, this is about Ooh, it was about three years ago now when, when he fought Callum Johnson. And I remember doing the fight breakdown myself and me and Badu Jack did that, the tactical breakdown for Sky Sports. And I remember saying like the Perry punch for, for that, for, for Baturvic would be the left hook because he's over to it, but it's not only a left hook. Here is a man in any yard who, no matter what he does, people are going to complain about this, that, and all the rest of it. But what I do see, I see a very confident young man. Mm. I listen, and I was very impressed with his with his performance on, on the weekend because I see him lift the man off of the ground but it wasn't that. I don't care who was fighting. What I was, what I was really, really happy about was just um, how relaxed he was in the delivery of his shots mm-hmm. and the body shots that he was administering. So I'm not, but I'm sorry. I Spence, let me, let me uh, ask you a question here. Um, it's Travis, by the way. Uh, we're saying um, Travis. Travis, man. Right? Travis, my apologies, man. I keep on saying that Travis looks like a Jamaican Somalian, and I don't mean it because Travis is my mother from another mother. This guy, bro, you see, you see, you, bro, we we predicted, we predicted that you get to this at some point. You have to cuss someone. It's all right, bro. It's 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 bro, You have to let him get that off. I thought you were someone in the first 30 seconds, Sam. No, he delayed it. He saved it for the, for the championship rounds. He saved it for the championship rounds. I don't, I don't want to upset Travis, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's all right. We'll let you get that off, bro. Listen, Spence, ain't nothing wrong with that. You. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nah, that's why I'm not even reacting to you, fam. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just keeping to the topic. Travels uh, <laughs> in my family, man. Travels in my family. God, what are you saying? All right. Nah. So what I'm saying is, a lot of people criticize <laughs> the, the, the opponent selection when we know, obviously, Batebiev is down the line, and it's like, how is what has prepared? What has got yard ready for Batebiev? Uh, sorry, I'm not sorry to cut you. This is what I'm no. saying to you. Dean Powell, the late great Dean Powell. Dean Powell was actually great. It was a fantastic match. Um, who, who passed away. I can't believe it's like, it's about, oh, it's what, about eight years now or something. It's been a little while since Dean Powell's passed away. Mm-hmm. And Dean Powell used to say, whenever you got a title shot in the way, you never take a warm up in between that because you know you got a title shot. Mm-hmm. Right? This is Dean Powell. Dean Powell actually got that from, from the late, great Mickey Duff, um, manager, promoter, and occasional trainer, right? So you don't take, but he just took that, so you've got to see what that is for. It's just for him to hold on his skills and go and take for the next move for him, and that's his fight with Baturbia, right? Now, I don't want to talk too much on it, because I don't want to give out, I don't want to talk that's too much fair. on this thing, but that's I know, fair. but I know, I know, I believe, what anti yard can do to secure victory, right? Number one. Number two, How does he I stop believe. Him? How does he stop him? According to you, not not what you've seen in the camp. I'm saying from your. How does he, how does how he, how does he, he stop him? Yeah. The thing the thing about it is this: is anything I say right now, people are gonna listen to it. You know what I mean, John Scully, he's trainer. He's actually my my brother. I know John Scully for years, so I'm not I'm not saying of anything that how he's doing. But I just know that anti yard. There's a reason why that fight is. In the UK, there's a reason. There's a reason of those kind of things, mm-hmm. and like I'm saying already, like you go look at it technically, but Turvin isn't that good. Jermaine, I don't. He, he, 
He's not that good, bro. Because he was that good, he wouldn't be flawed. He wouldn't have got flawed by uh, by this, Callum Johnson. Can happen in boxing, though. Come no, on. it can't. It, of course, it can. But if you're technically that good, you're not made to get flawed by them. I do hear but, that, but at the same time, it's like he's not getting knocked down. Make, he's not getting knocked down often, though. Face. Maestro was making a serious facial expression. The facial expression was so serious. I had to bring I him don't in. Care. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't business like that. And I'm not here to argue my not my, argue, my not my... argue not argue. I'm just saying. No, sorry, I'm not even sorry. On the real, I'm not even here to debate with nobody today. No, you ain't got debate. I'm just saying again. We're just talking about. <laughs> so it's like it's it's a big it's a big claim. That's a big statement. And saying no, that. I'm bro, bro. Seriously, seriously. Yeah, there is there is there is artful butchery within what he does, but technically. Um, but Toby, I think I kind of fight that like, I'm running out to say I, I, I'm going to be watching. Sorry, you know what I mean technically Kovalev? Technically, Kovalev is a better technician, round fighter than 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 Baturbiev. Yes, Baturbiev can punch. I give him that, and he's a very nice man. I'm not saying nothing bad about him. He's actually a nice man, very nice man, and he's a Muslim. That's brilliant. Alhamdulillah. But I'm just keeping this thing 100. You know what I mean? I'm I'm saying that we are going to see. You know what I mean, back your own. And when I'm we're back in. No, no. Own, listen, we're we're right. we're back, back in yours. Yeah. We're back, back in yours. Either way, I'm. We again. The question is: is is he ready? Is have you are you excited again with with your knowledge of boxing and what you're seeing? Are you happy with because the second time we're going for greatness, right? This this. Second attempt at it. Are you saying well, you know what well, we've done all the learning? It wasn't because because what I'm trying to say is that that time when Anthony I mean, the first time he, he didn't know defeat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He didn't know. He didn't know none of these kind of things. And I know just how hard that young man is trained. I know just how hard That's what like Tony's been on this thing. And you gotta realize that when Tony's on this thing, he's on this thing because we can't even do the show because Tony's in camp. I have to show up by myself and bring in other people. So. It is, it is what it is. But it's not for me to say, like, a lot of people say, oh, Baturvi is going to kill him. I say, kill him for what? what? What can you look and say that? What has Baturvi have... Listen, if, don't get fooled into the trap. These men get fooled into the trap and they they, they succumb to the, the hype and the mysticism of, oh, this man is this. Are, saying, oh. are we saying, again, are we saying he's not worthy of the hype, though, bro? He's worthy you know, of the hype. No, 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 no. He's worthy of the hype. Listen to me. He's worthy of the hype to weak-minded people. We are not weak here. I am not weak. No one, you can't be a weak man and be around. So all the weak people can buy into this. Oh, he's this and he's that and oh, he's King Kong and oh, and all the rest of it. This man is no. This man is no Bob Foster. This man is no Michael Spinks. This man. Is, I actually think it's the opposite. I don't think he's getting enough credit. They're not giving him the respect as a technical boxer. This is a man that represented Russia multiple times across international competition. I believe he's a world championship gold medalist. I believe he's a, uh, I think, two-time European gold medalist. He's a silver medalist at the world champions as well. And he actually, he actually should, he actually should have won a gold medal in Beijing. He actually should have won a gold medal in Beijing, but. They jobbed him. They jobbed him. The guy that won the gold medal was a Chinese guy. It was in Beijing. Right, what year was that? What year was that? Yeah, what year this was, was that? This was in two thousand. This was in two thousand eight. And when it comes to when it comes to right, Better right, Beeb right, and, and Kovalev, Better Beeb, Better Beeb was selected multiple Where times over Kovalev as a Russian as a Russian amateur because he's the technically skilled and better boxer. Kovalev was the guy that wasn't on the team. Better be was on the team. Let's have the Listen, stop for a second. You don't need to try to read off my man's history to me. And that means nothing to me. Okay. All of this talk doesn't mean nothing to me. I'm just being real. And I'm not even angry. I'm not even trying to be rude. I've got a great respect. What's your name? Maestro? Yeah, Maestro, yeah. pleasure to meet you. I'm the knowledge. Pick up yourself. I'm not trying to be rude. Yeah. I'm just telling man this now. And I want you to listen good. Yeah? You lot can gas up um, um, Baturvi with all you want. Right? That's... There's certain things. Like, you see, with me, low is roy, number one. Everyone knows I am. I'm low to, to a fool. But on this one here, I'm not even being low to a fool. 
I'm just being low because it's a it's, it's it's I'm low to the knowledge that I have of boxing, which I've which I've been a part of for many a year. So I'm not when you look, you can gas up the tell all you want. I see what I'm, 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 I'm not like, gassing it up. I'm just respecting what's, what's the man and his, and his accomplishments. Hold what's on, Trav. One quick sec. I was I, I was there when he beat Joe Smith Jr. at the MSG Hulu Theater in front of a bunch of people. In front of a bunch of people, it was a hometown crowd for for Joe Smith. But most importantly, one wing that one win that no one can take away from a better be. Well, there's actually two. There's dealing with the cuts when Marcus Brown cut him up uh, with uh, illegitimately. They weren't they weren't actual punches. Um, he cut him up illegitimately. He fought through that right, and he stopped Marcus Brown. And Marcus Brown was a very high level amateur. And that's a decent professional. But the one win that nobody ever talks about, but they should talk about, is the uh, Alexander Gavaznik win. That was a big win. The Gavaznik win was a very good win. So then, very good win. But then I don't so, understand how, because obviously, Spence, you're hearing it like we have just said, you know what, we don't want Yard to win and it's not a loyalty thing. I'm saying just on talking no, boxing, just no, on a no, boxing thing, because no, I don't brother. know how you've seen it as we're on we're on a gassing up the turvy. I'm saying, Rod, I'm not, I think I'm, it's not still, I'm not, I'm not, listen, my friend, I'm talking on general, but on the general uh, public and everything else. I'm saying, no, this gas thing's not working with me. I'm sorry, it's not working with me. Do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, everything is colour is the will of God. Do you know what I mean? So whatever God wills, it goes, right? But the thing about the will is this. Do you know what I mean? You have free will as a human being. So do I, is he going to put the work in? Of course he is. Is there going to be no stone unturned? There's going to be no stone unturned, right? Is it going to be a fantastic show? Yes, it is. But I'm telling you again, it's on home ground. And I'm telling you the energy that is going to be there from the like-minded one. Do you know what I mean? And the energy that is going in with, you got James Cook in the corner. That's a mastermind there, you know? Mm. I want them to realize that part there, you know? James yeah, Cook is a man. mastermind. Right. Ru so, Russ I'm, Amber, Ru I'm, so is Russ Amber. Russ Amber is on, on the other team. Iceman John Scully and also Mark Ramsey. That, that's a great training team right there. Listen to me. Iceman John Scully is my brethren, yeah? He's my very good friend. But Iceman John Scully is going to get cooked. And when you're ice, you melt. And all of their team's going to melt. I'm telling what you about this. What about, Mark <laughs> Ramsey? what about Mark Ramsey and Russ Amber? Because Mark, Mark Ramsey's Mark Ramsey, Ramsey, the lead Ramsey. man in the corner. Russ, no, no. Mark Ramsey is an accomplished man in boxing. I've got nothing but respect for him. Mm. Right? So I'm not going to hear me disrespect Mark Ramsey. Mark Ramsey foundation in boxing. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not the ice is is, no, I mean, I, 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 one second, bro. It's, it's one of the ones where it's like for me, I'm pure team yard on this thing, isn't it? Like, I have been, I'm always that guy. People know me to be a yard fan. Literally. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a disloyalty to acknowledge what Baturbiev is. Do you see what I'm saying? In this fight, listen to me. I said this yesterday on the show, I'm saying it today. I said on the fights, right? I'm going to say it now on the Undefeated podcast. Come on, right? Men who are gassing up Baturviev and talking Baturviev this and that, I hope come the 29th, the morning after, that you lot keep this same energy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't try to switch aside, boost up any yard and I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I like that, I like that. <laughs> I like that. No, keep but that same you energy. But then, all right, but on the same thing though, so what would your energy be if, if it doesn't? Well, my energy be what yeah, it because again, if the ice don't like melt, said, if the ice don't melt, second, if the ice don't melt, the I'll energy I'll must I'll change I'll for I'll sure. I'll 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 no, 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 no. I'll up a second. This I'm ready for you now, KG. I'm ready for you. I'm just saying, nah. I'm just saying, no. Because again, always, no, there's, there's, no always, again. There's, there's always my little sneaky Nigerian who tries to sell us into slavery, right? Why? Why have I got to sell you to slavery, bro? I just have to always one sneaky Nigerian. Again, it's got me. Yeah, I mean. Uh, you know what I mean? Shut up, man. Right, we're going to send you the six... Listen, we'll up, send you, listen we will send you the six-letter apology, the six things you got to do to apologize yeah. to the Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, for real. But, yeah, I mean, but go on, but go on. I'm not going to apologize because I'm from the Lost Tribe. Anyway, but what I say to you, I will never apologize. <laughs> That's a 
lot happening. Right? There's a lot happening right now. <laughs> Right, no, funny games are safe. Funny games. You see, you know why I can say that? Hold up, hold up. And then listen, you know why I can say that? Because my grandmother's actually Jewish. My great grandmother. No, nah, listen, great we're not. So I, can, oh, I we're, can actually say that. I can actually oh, say no, that. we're skipping you over can't that. Go. <laughs> we're skipping. You hey, can't go. hey, fast left. Fast left. <laughs> fast left. Now, funny games, funny games are safe. Because I don't really want to yeah. come out belligerent. I don't want to come across cocky and all the rest come of it. Come on. It's just like when you see what, and I have to give maximum props to Tundi. You know what I mean? Like, the amount of stick that he has taken and everything else, and he just kept on plugging forward and just keep on moving forward. And he's taken a lot of stick. Even now, I'm seeing people in America making videos and, oh, Spencer Perron said this and this, 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 making videos. But I say, Rob, we're, we're international like that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hate comes in. Hate, hate's global. I've gone clear, bro. You know what I mean? And what I realize is like, you know what I mean? Haters are committed, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, 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 they're pulling up. They're if pulling only up. I'd get a pound for every time they call my name, man. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have to worry about these gas prices going on. But I I'm just, saying, like, I hope, again, just to let you know, just in case that they're unsure, everyone here is rocking with, everyone here is rocking with Yard. He's rocking with the home soil, man. You want to see even, him do even, Wait, everyone here, what is Maestro? Is he guy with, what's his, what's his name? Maestro, 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 what is his name? Maestro, Maestro, come on, you know his name. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, look, would, would I would I be happy? Would I be happy to see? Uh, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Are you rolling with him though? No, you'd be happy to see. Are you rolling with him? Okay, if rolling means, do I think he's beating Arthur? No, no, no. Are you backing man? Are you are you for him? Are you supporting him? That's what I'm saying. Are you supporting him? I don't think he's gonna win the fight. So it's all right, but I said yeah, that's not answering the question. That's, that's yeah. not answering the question. I said, are you supporting him? Your your reply was, I don't. I mean, uh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm it. in the Bronx, New York. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not mm-hmm. like I can be there cheering for him. Like I, no, I'm, no, far no, no, I'm far away, I'm far away. Now, that's, now, that's, do that's, I want, that's, do that's, I want to see? What, he from Stratford, that's, right? That's where he's from. He's yeah. from Stratford, correct? Do I want to see someone do? You got to give him a chance, Spence. You got to give him a chance to respond, man. No, I can't. You, because you not phoned me and I phoned you back. I thought, what you phoned me for? And I just realized you were doing a show, right? <laughs> Minstrel, listen to me. Yeah. Minstrel, right? Listen to what I'm saying. I mean, Maestro, right? Yeah. Listen to what I'm saying to you, right? You said, are you supporting? You can't be supporting because you're not there. You know what I mean? There's many fights that I've sat in my house and watched and I've supported the man that's not, I'm not there in the physical presence, but I'm supporting. Right. Same way. So I'm saying to you, Maestro, are you supporting Anthony Young? Do I want him to win? Yes or no? Yeah. Are you... No, no, no. I said, are you... No, do you want him to win? Or I said, are you supporting Anthony Yard? Not do you want him to win? Are you supporting Anthony Yard? I can't say I'm, I can't say I'm supporting. I mean, I'm I not going to be making... I'm not going to be making videos saying, everybody, let's go support Anthony Yard. Let, let, everybody clap. Let's get Anthony Yard to win. Like, earlier, like I said to my brothers earlier, yeah. KG and Travis, like I said, we have to support our own. Read into it how you want. And it's not a black or white thing or anything else like that before people get twisted because I'm also Muslim, a perturbing Muslim. We have to support our own. All right? My own is who I can affiliate myself to and assimilate myself to with culturally, historically, you know what I mean? And also socially. So... In, within my community, my community is actually common unity because we've got all red, white, blue, green, everything in our community. Okay. Who, if you can go, if you could go Blue Jays and get a picture up on the wall, then I, then you're in our community. That's it, Blue Jays. But minstrel, you no, can't get you your know picture. It's, nah, it's, it's Maestro, bro. That's what the minstrel is. You, you nah, can't that, get your that, picture that. on the Blue Jay wall. You, after that, that. Sacrilege comment. You cannot get your picture on the on the Blue Jay wall. Now, Peter loves you like Yeah, I've got, I'm bound. Now, yeah, big up yourself. I, Keep it, listen, I love you. I love what you lot are doing. You know, I love what you're doing. Not only KG, Travis, I love what you guys are doing. I see. Are you Travis, coming to the show? Are you coming to the show on, on Sunday? Come on, one million percent, man. I'm going to get my ringside seat. I'm waiting for Travis to do his impression of me. I you to start because you live. Travis, don't let them. Travis, don't let them Nigerians divide us, you know, because I'm sure. Don't let them. Listen, you divide. started this beef with me, you know. I'm getting you. I'm getting you first, bro. Friendly fire, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, knowledge. <laughs> Big up yourself. You, know, sorry, you was sorry, out of hand. You was like, out of hand today. Travis, 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 all right. You eat injera? Huh? 
In get Jared, right. it's Ethiopian food. I know, it's I know Ethiopian the thing. I know the thing. Get out, right, bro. Get him out, get man. Right. Listen to yourself. See you later, bro. Peace love, man. I love Come you guys. On. Keep up the great work, man. You're doing. Hey, hey, um, uh, yeah, Mike. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking with you, man. Take care, Mitch. Go light. Yeah, bl- bless up, bedroom. What do you say? <laughs> listen. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what Spencer's on the matching today, you know. All right, so listen, you know what um, this is like? When I was yeah. a kid, the United States illegally invaded Iraq under George Bush Sr., right? Okay. I remember. And and Saddam Hussein was all on Iraqi television, right? Uh, bragging about how they were going to destroy the United States armed forces. And by the way, I was on Iraq side in that conflict, but Iraq still got beat beat the hell up. So and 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 Saddam Hussein was bragging to every Iraqi on Iraqi television that they were going to destroy the invading US army and you know what it didn't happen why because he was delusional or at least he wanted his people to be okay so me talking about uh uh but better beebs and by the way it's better beeb my man from all boxing are you the biggest russian language boxing website his name is Stan if you read russian check out their stuff it's one of the biggest boxing websites in the world, actually. He, he actually corrected me. It's not Bet Beterbia. It's Better Beeb. Okay? okay. So, uh, Better Beeb, for you to get on here and say, he said he didn't want to argue, so I was being quiet and trying to be respectful. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he kept purposely, I guess, messing up my name. You know, it, yeah. it is what it is, you know. Uh, the fact is, you're bringing up Kovalev, saying that Kovalev's a better boxer. If that's the mentality, you already lost. Yeah. Kovalev was losing year after year to better be as a technical amateur boxer. Wasn't making the Russian team. Better be was on the team. Better be was winning the gold medals at European at world level should have won an Olympic medal, but was boxing in Beijing and they gave it to the Chinese guy who ended up winning the gold medal. So better be is an extremely capable technical boxer i didn't i didn't the, the, the way that he's able to close distance and close the gap okay is second to none he knocked out joe smith jr being a counter puncher getting hurting him and then turning it into offense and destroying the dude joe smith jr never looked like that against anybody who else made joe smith jr look like that when joe smith jr lost the big ball he got outboxed he got outboxed and physically destroyed by Arthur Betterbeeb. Okay? So, you, I mean, technical boxing, look at the Gavosnik win. Right? The one time he had to go full ape shit mode, ape shit mode was against Marcus Brown because he was cut and bleeding. Mm. And by the way, K, KG, to your point, when you're fighting hitters, heavy hitters, you get knocked down. It happens. That's what I'm saying. That's I mean, this is boxing. But that's why, again, obviously, I don't know. I think maybe, I think in that no. conversation oh, today, no. uh, Bruce, oh, wanted no. to, Bruce wanted to jump in. Yeah, that's fine. But let me quickly yeah. say this thing. I think in that conversation, I don't know if Spencer just didn't want to tell us what was going on in the camp because I was the 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 main my main questioning was to say, listen, you know, boxing has all the the right steps been taken for this undertaking, but then it was talking like, you know, my energies was off and I'm not. Trying to support. I'm like, no. Listen, you want to ask me if I support, if I support, if I support. I support the Palestinians. But that don't mean that in a in a in a in a in an actual warfare with the Israelis, I think they're gonna win. I I support the Palestinians. But what's gonna happen when they go up against a nuclear state? Bruce. Ah, uh, guys, man, that's that's probably got to be the 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 most emotionally charged load of drivel I've heard Let's in a hear long it, time, man. I mean, I mean, first of all, right out the gate, he came out with this analogy about <clears throat> I don't know what it was that led me to think, but you know, let, let the guy he just spoke to on the phone got like TKO'd by Oliver McCall and then Hasim Rachman. And so whatever he was saying about, you know, uh, hey, I, I can't hey, remember hey, the point. Hey, we, what we're not about to do is disrespect Lennox Lewis today. No, no, well, Lennox, Lennox exa- is that, the no. GOAT. <laughs> Lennox is no, no, the GOAT, but Lennox that's what I'm trying to like say. Saying, Bruce is saying. That's what I'm saying. He was, no, 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 listen. No one champions right. Lennox Lewis like, the, like I do, my man. Trust okay. me. What I'm saying is he made an analogy as if to say, you know, 
I don't know what the first point was. If we rewind back, we can hear it. But then I think I thought to myself, but you just brought up Lennox Lewis and Lennox Lewis got knocked out twice. So I don't know what his point was. But here's the here's the bigger thing. To me, I don't understand how you can't make two things to be right at the same time. And those two things are what has Yard done to make people believe he's going to be probably the number one dude in the division? At the moment, Thank who's you. had a history uh, of you. amateur fights, who's beaten Yusik, who's beaten thank Kovalev. You. What has thank he done? You. Now here's the now here's the flip multiple, side. Multiple, multiple times, but, but, Kovalev, bro. Multiple times. But here's the flip side. But we want him to win. I really want him to win. I think mm. it will be great for British boxing. And you know what? I think it would take some of the flack off Tunde because yeah, he does absolutely, you know, hold a lot. Of, he gets a lot of flack. And so I think it would be great. But for me. When you can't have those two things to be right at the same time, mm. then emotionally, you're not thinking straight. You're not thinking objectively. And honestly, mm. I would have thought a lot more of Spencer had he had done that. I would have Bruce, thought I agree. I him, thought, being, I thought... him being the knowledge, I thought he would have come with objectivity and knowledge and said, you know what? Absolutely. I see where you guys are coming from. But yet it was this like rage of nonsense and drivel that I, I, you know, I would have expected from some teenager. Bruce, uh, you and, know, when you came in, I thought you were saying that stuff about me. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. But listen, but, but, when you start and, off and the th analysis, when you start off the analysis that uh, Kovalev is a better technical boxer yeah. than the guy that literally beat him every time and represented Russia on every conceivable world level as an amateur, that's crazy right. talk. Exactly. That's exactly. crazy talk. Exactly. And, 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 then, listen, and then it's you like blame, when you, you say can't blame anyone for thinking that that yard is going to get dismantled. You no, you 100%. can't say that and suddenly go, what do you mean? It's not like Bivol and Batavia have a fight and you're like a 100 percent one way for one guy. Like, it's not that we're looking at a case where you look at their skills and you look at their career and you say, the reason why we're in this position and we think like this is because. Yard fought on Saturday. He could have fought a step up, perhaps. He could have fought may a step up. But yet Big we're trying facts. to praise him for a warm-up fight that's going to do absolutely nothing. Again, if he beats Batervia, and I wish he does, that's going to be amazing. We can give him flowers. We can give Tunde flowers. But at the same time, let's be honest. If you're not honest, then how much do you love boxing? I don't know. Personally. Agreed. Agreed. Especially when... Said, he, I, know, yeah. I thought he was going to be the knowledge yeah. in the operation. I thought he was going to be like the guy that's like way objective. too emotionally charged. But but yeah. here's my other thing. Here's my other thing. You want to bring up Razor Razor Ruddick, right? Razor yeah. Ruddick didn't accomplish anything close to what Better be accomplished as an amateur or that's as a right. pro. Ruddick when did Razor Ruddick win a uh, amateur gold medal? When did Razor Ruddick, uh, you know, do what Beterbiev did? Better be sorry, did as an amateur, let alone unify titles. As a pro. Oh, okay. So, but then the other thing is you want to bring up, oh, this is taking place in the UK. It's very simple. Why this is taking place in the UK. Okay. Number one, the pound is worth way more than the Canadian dollar. Number two, uh, better be isn't necessarily a draw in Montreal. You know, Mon Montreal has embraced foreign fighters a lot. They did it with Lucien Boutte, right? Uh, they've done it with others. But oh, shit. at the, end of, at the oh, end of the day, at the end of the day, yo, this fight, this, this, this fight isn't that sellable of a fight in Montreal. Because the first yeah. question is, and again, they're going to say, well, you know, th this isn't Joe Smith. This isn't Bevor. This is th this guy from England that got, who hasn't fought anybody. And the one time he stepped up, he got knocked out in Russia. Now you could say whatever you want about the reasons he got knocked out. I agree. It was it was a cardiorespiratory. It, it was an aerobic capacity it was, it was, thing. It, it was a, it wasn't it was like a jab he got probably. Yeah, go it was for a it, jab Bruce. that mine. Yeah, I but I mean, the, the, the this isn't a sellable you fight in New motion. York. Yeah, this isn't a sellable fight in New York City. And by mm. the way, he was on enemy soil here when he took on Joe Smith, who's from New York. OK, mm -hmm. this isn't a sellable fight anywhere <laughs> other than in England. Let's be honest. That's why yeah. it's taking place in England. There's a mandatory defense against the guy that literally, literally everyone in the world that covers boxing has to say is the underdog. Mm. 
And I think that's why and the underdog is fighting in his hometown. It's only sellable because the underdog is fighting in his hometown. That's can it. I, can, I also, can I also say this? And I said this on the Discord many times. Yeah. Is that the craziest thing is, is that whatever you think of Yard's career and how he fights in his opponents, the saddest part about this is, is that Yard could actually be a superstar. And the, the harsh reality is, is that the way his career has been managed, the way Frank has dealt with his career, the opponents, the way Tunde gasses more than he does. And it's like Tunde wants it to be the Tunde show. And it's never, I think it's, it's always I think a sly thing about him. Just to be fair, though, just to be fair, I think that's changed. Ever since he, ever since, you know, he right. had the bereavement, it, it has changed the last few fights. But I'm talking about the beginning. beginning. I'm talking about... I'm talking about okay. the beginning. And what I'm saying is, is that if that was different, uh, and I know this is said a lot, but imagine if Eddie Hearn had Yard. Oh, bro. It, the, everything would have been... It said, no, boring. listen, it said a lot, the but why can't, why can't we ask that question? Because you know no, what it would be. They needed to get... Because oh, it's, it's a tension. One second, we have to... We can't leave things out. The attention that Tunde's brought to this fighter, because if has not... Made, he has helped build him to this. Has helped build him. Because if not, he would be like all the other light heavies in the division I mean, that are still has helped their names. But has helped build him to the Telford Big Hall Bingo Arena. I mean, it's not exactly, you know, has helped build him. And he's now like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what I'm saying is I'm, I'm gassing Yard. I'm saying he could, I'm like, when I look at the dude, I watch him fight. I watch his interviews. There's something about him that you, when he goes in the ring, you see the way he, you know, he does his Philly shell, his power. It's intriguing. But power but I'm against saying who, on the bro? other side power of that. But this is what I'm saying. On the flip side, oh, his snap, opponents... the knowledge. The knowledge has had enough. He's calling back. Oh my days. <laughs> Put me knowledge. right back on your show, bro. The knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm looking at now. Because like because because before I was actually playing, I was mucking around. Okay. But then what's his name? Bruce Kyle. Bruce. Bruce. What's the Bruce surname? Bruce Bruce Kai, you, you, you lot had a you lot had a um Bruce Kyle, uh, like Cobra Kai, Kai. like Cobra. That's the Cobra right there. That's Bruce Maestro. Cobra Kai. Maestro. Nah, he's the Cobra for you, man. You know what I mean? Bruce that's... Cobra Kai. Bruce Cobra Kai. That's right. what he is. So, Underestimate him if you want to, bro. <laughs> so I'm saying this now. Don't, don't, never you dare. Cause you can't tell me of a light heavyweight in this country that's got a bigger profile than Anthony Yard. When you can, Bruce, then let me know. Right? Don't talk. I wasn't, trying to, to I wasn't trying to compare. I wasn't trying to compare. No, no. But you were. You were saying like, oh, well, the Tundi show. I, I was saying his that. profile <laughs> could be bigger under somebody else. I wasn't trying to compare him to other light heavyweights. Stop for a second. Stop, sir. Sir, sir Bruce. And we're not arguing. We're, 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 we're discussing here. Name me a light heavyweight that has a bigger profile than Anthony Yard. Who's done things on on Frank Warren platform? Saying Maybe it's, saying it's slower and more concise doesn't make your point more valid, my friend. I already answered your question, and I said I was not comparing light heavyweights when I made the statement. You said, you said could you imagine how big you'd be if he was with Eddie Hearn? So I'm saying, okay, then. Well, uh, Craig Richards with Eddie Hearn, Joshua Bradley, but Craig with Eddie Richards. Hearn. Is Yes, but Craig Richards is not a star like Yard, is he? Come on, dude. This is oh, kindergarten wait, 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 101 you're talking now. You're not listening, man. Wait, I am listening. So you're, you're saying not he's not a star like You're talking drivel, bro. Am, you're not I'm, listening. I'm, no, look I'm not at talking, a, look. You're being very disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful to you. I'm not being disrespectful to you. Now, if you have got me... Like, calling uh, Maestro Minstrel was a little disrespectful. I, no, I no, 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 no. Stop for a second, because you didn't let me finish. If you let me... Can oh, you okay. just be quiet so I can speak? Okay, you speak, you speak. I said, I said, I said... When I came on first time, I was joking. I was mucking around. That's, it was a joke to me. Cuss Travis, cuss KG, I'm joking. But jump off, cool. But now, now, I'm saying to you, you're saying he's not... A, he, how big he would be. You're saying that he's... The other guys are with Eddie Hearn. Are they as big as any yard? They're not. How did he become a star if it wasn't for Tundi Ajayi? The boy had 12 amateur fights. They stuck together and loyalty's royalty. They stuck together and they bust and they've done something amazing. You can't tell me of a British fighter with 12 fights who's getting two shots at a world title. But Spence, 
Let me let me just yeah. to clarify him saying that him being with Eddie Hearn would make him bigger doesn't mean Tunde is not involved. He's talking about the promotion. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus when, man. When he was saying, oh, look, I'm saying and by the way, when you said you came in and joke, you were joking. Go and replay the yeah. chat because I don't think anybody in the chat nor the presenters of this show, nor Maestro, thought that. So you are on your own, my friend, thinking you were joking or, or had a comical tone. My friend, my friend, I don't believe what you're thinking of. I'm telling you that I was joking. I was joking. Because I'm, I'm in my living room and someone phoned me. I've lost my head off. I find that I'm funny. I don't business if no one else don't find it. I find it funny. I find it funny. Go as on. simple as that. I'm no, that that's fine. I'm listening. I, I, I want to hear. I want to see the point. Yeah, you know who not funny. You know who not funny at all, though. You know who not funny. Arthur better be. He not funny at all. He ain't about no games, bro. Like I said, like I said again. Yeah, I might no arguments or anything else. I haven't got time to be giving the energy to this. Jermaine, like I said, I piece two but things. We gotta let. We gotta let Bruce. We got because you spoke, Spence. And you called back in. We got. We got to let Bruce respond and have a rebuttal to some of the things you said. I mean, to be honest with you, there's there's no rebuttal to be made. My points still stand, and the points are still valid. What I was saying is is that if you can imagine what Yard would be like under Eddie, and as Trav clearly said, that doesn't mean not having Tunde. That means well, getting well, rid sorry, of Frank. Sorry, that means right. getting rid of. Okay. Right, sorry, 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 my apologies. Continue now, and then I'll jump back in. Cut. That means not having Frank because I think. The whole boxing world knows, you know, of the last few years, how dodgy Frank's promoting is. But, okay. you know, my main point was that um, saying how good um, Baterviev is doesn't negate the fact that we want Yard to win. Neither does it make you a sellout or does it make you disloyal. I never, I don't if you say, you know, no, no, I never said, I'm, Jesus, I never said you said that. Bruce, it also doesn't discount the fact that six fighters ago, Arthur Be Better be wasn't fighting a guy that was four forty eight and three in a in a in a bingo hall somewhere in Spain against some Spanish guy that I never heard of Diego Jair Ramirez. So at the end of the day, we just gotta respect people for what they've done. Arthur Better be amazing amateur. Arthur Better be amazing professional. Arthur Better be unified light heavyweight champion of the world just destroyed Joe Smith Jr. in front of my very eyes. He's got three of the belts at 175. There's a reason he has those three belts. And whatever the level was of preparation for Kovalev, Team Yard better be 100 times X that for this man because this dude is literally that much better than Kovalev as an amateur and as a pro. Spencer, I will say one thing. I... I... I'm I'm a bit surprised that you couldn't, even though I obviously I know your loyalty to Yard. I I was surprised that you couldn't speak on how good Better <clears throat> Biev is because the whole boxing world is basically no, on I'm the same page when it comes to that. Bro, and it doesn't make you disloyal to to admit no, 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 or no, to no, even no, you know. No, no, no. Bro, I'm going by my feelings and not by anybody else's. And by and I can tell you one thing, one for certain, yeah. All you lot combined haven't studied more boxing than me. And this is not me being boastful or anything. I'll just tell you this factual. There is nothing that I see in, in Baturia that I'm thinking, oh my goodness gracious. There is nothing. And if it was, I would say so. And that's yeah. not me being low, low, this low. I'm telling you, within my, within, within what I have studied of this game or what I've watched of this game, there is nothing in the man where I'm thinking, oh my goodness gracious. Nothing. So nothing. beating you sick, you sick twice. Um, you don't listen to what I'm saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm standing by what I said. Nothing okay. that I've seen the guy that I'm thinking, oh my goodness gracious. Okay. You lot, like I said, everybody else can say, oh, well, yeah, he beat this guy, he's done da -da -da, and all the rest of it. I know what I know. And the certain things that I know, I can't let off. You know what I mean? All I just right. can't. All right. But I know what I know. All right. Well, I know what I know. Please. I know that this is a man, right. this is a man that fought in the heavyweight division as an amateur. This is a man who's mm -hmm. destroyed everybody he's ever faced as a professional mm -hmm. this is a man who is accustomed to going into people's backyards and is a hell of a lot better mm -hmm. as a technical boxer and as a power puncher 
than the man you said is better than him, oh, Sergey Kovalev. So, oh, by the way, he also no, doesn't I, drink alcohol. He also doesn't drink alcohol, uh, like so like, like Kovalev did. It means that he's going to be physically and mentally prepared. That's what I mean. He got one of the best. He got one of the best strength and conditioning coaches in the game as well. Oh, look, his team is incredible. From 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 Mark Ramsey, head coach. You you got a guy. You got you want to you want to talk about you want to talk about knowledge in the game of you want to talk about knowledge in the game of boxing. My man Russ Amber. I put him up against anybody when it comes to knowledge in the game of boxing. And that's the man that's helping Mark Ramsey, who also is one of the premier coaches in the sport. Look up Russ Amber. He's not just a former national team coach. He, he's also the head of Rival, Rival, the biggest up-and-coming uh, boxing company in the world. That That's Mr. Russ Amber. Okay, th this is who's in. So, we, look. You want to talk right, about right. you, you want to talk ding, about ding, preparation? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I don't need to look him up. I don't need to. I'll give him. You want to phone him now? I don't need to. None of you ain't got my black book. I'm telling you this now. You can have your opinion, and I'm going to have mine. I just don't have the energy to go and break it down on the rules. And the reason why, and the reason why, is because I promised Tony not to give these futile conversations, my energy. But because I was playing, that's the only reason why I jumped on. Because I saw the time, I said, oh, I bet you they're falling for something. So, yeah. And that's the only reason why I jumped on. That is the only reason. And to support their thing, because just like I they want. support mine. That's as simple as that. Do you know what I mean? But then, but then I get, but then, not up a second, not up a second, but then I get, what's your name, Bruce what? I don't know Bruce's Bruce name. I'm not being rude. Bruce, Co Bruce, Bruce Cobra Kai. Bruce Cobra Kai. Right. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know Bruce Kai. Um, even though we've spoken before, and I'm saying like he comes with some very, very valid points because he's an opinionated human being. Do you know what I mean? But what I'm saying is this. I know what I know, and I'm going to stick to what I know. And I'm going to say again, and I hear what he's saying. It doesn't mean that you're a seller if you're, if you're not thinking this or blah, 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 and all the rest of it. And da, 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 da. To you, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean like I'm a sellout, but I'm saying like I back my own. I support my own. And I give no energy to anybody coming up against anybody that's my own. Just like if on a battle when if like if we had a, a, a comedy competition and I'm backing Travis and KG one million percent and they could be going up against Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock. I'm still backing them, man. But on this here, I see the weaknesses and I know my brother from another mother, Baba Tundi Ajayi, that shiny face Nigerian brother, is studying hard for this. So let's let's see. Let's see. All That's right, what I'm saying. Right. We'll, we'll leave it there. there. All right. We'll leave it there. We'll leave and, Bruce, it there. and Bruce is nothing but love. You know what I mean? I just like Absolutely, how you always jump around this thing and it's what it's in. It's not, it's nothing but love. Nothing Absolutely, but love. Man. You know what I mean? All right. And man, I just want to realize that. That's the barber show. That's the barber show. Yeah, and just like and just like um, um, Maestro, nothing but love to you as well. I didn't know who you was because I I don't. I, you know what I mean? But now I do know. So big up yourself as well. And you know what I mean? But just be careful. You know what I mean? Because your your breast is a bit dicky right now. You're sucking off mine, man. All right. Take care. God bless. The, the the I mean, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. He in the first. He in the second call. Like he in the yeah. first call. Let me tell you something. This man say he don't know. <laughs> This man say he don't know who I am. He follows me on Twitter. How, how the fuck he not know who I am? How the fuck you follow me on Twitter, but you don't know who the fuck I am? Look it up. Go on Twitter. You can see it. The man follows me. I've, I've had direct messages with this dude. And he's saying he don't know who I am. That's number one. And also, you want to, it sounds like there's little subtle shots questioning my blackness. Trav, you met my wife. I'm black to the bone, dog. But at the end of the at the end of the day, the fact that I'm black and that Anthony are black doesn't make any difference in terms of me acknowledging how great. Notice I use great, not good. How great Arthur Betterbeam is. I think he I, is. Yeah. He is great. He is a great fighter. And if it wasn't for all of this anti-Russian sentiment going on in all of these hypocritical Western countries, like the United States, like Britain, like Canada, 
he would be way bigger than he is. You want to talk about somebody being bigger? What if it was Arthur, uh, uh, you know, or Arthur Smith from Long Island? How big would Arthur better be? be? Stop it. Uh, here's the final thought, man. Ooh. I think somebody, somebody putting their fingers in their ears and, and shouting, la, 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 he's not the boogeyman. La, 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 he's not the boogeyman. Doesn't make that person not the boogeyman. Do you understand? So as much as you want to deny, or as much as you want to say, ah, oh, no, or discredit his achievements, it doesn't make it not so. And, and well, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when have I ever come on here? This is like Lennox 2.0. When have I ever come on here and started bragging about who I know and how much more I know than everybody else? I don't need to do that. Mm-hmm. I let my I let my opinions speak for themselves. If ninjas want to rock with what I'm saying, that's great. If you don't want to rock with what I'm saying, that's fine too. You know, I don't need to do what in debating and in English is called an appeal to authority. I don't need yep. to do that. Yep. There's an the appeal to authority. Is, man... You you look, I i I a lot of the people I bring up, I know them personally. I'm not here bragging about it. People aren't here to hear about who I know, how I know them, how long I've known them. They're here to hear what I think about a particular fight. And and uh, let my I ain't out here showing my Maestro contact. Said it, Maestro, Maestro said it perfectly. And listen, let me just say this. Last, last facts, week, last week. facts, facts don't care about your feelings. End of story. I tell people all the time, okay. nobody. We're gonna draw a line. We're gonna draw a line under this. <laughs> draw, no, bro, Bruce Kai, I'm not even seeing you of a big up Cobra Kai. <laughs> my God, my God. He said that's Bruce Cobra Kai. Hey, Maestro, we love you always, bro. You look. Don't forget, check out my brother Kenny T. Yo, don't anybody, don't anybody, don't anybody question my blackness. <laughs> you never, bro. You listen. The way my the way Maestro comes up in this show. I would never question his blackness. There's times when I'm like, he's he's blacker than black. <laughs> bro, uh, Paul, uh, uh, ask, ask Trev. He met my wife. I know. I Where didn't even meet her. I already know, fam. <laughs> listen, I my show. We love you, bro. Stay <laughs> blessed. Hey, <I> listen. <laughs> my show so black. I be mean, like, this is the week we get cancelled. When my show says, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the week. My show. Monday night smoke, boy. What a show. Brother, we didn't even have other. I swear, wait. <laughs> you told me to call. I shouldn't have called. I shouldn't have called Spencer. Um, <laughs> a, a absolute clash broke out. That man said, "Oh, tonight, let's go." <laughs> what, bro? Man you locked know, out. Man, so you know, <laughs> man, man got into a madness. Came into the chat and it said, "Nah, I'm folding to get myself back into this thing." <laughs> Yo, listen. Yo, that was I mix up though. I am mix up. Too. You are mix up. You started this whole thing mix up today, fam. When you said to me, when you said to me, has y'all done enough? I said, yeah, this guy's on this guy's on nonsense today. People who are overacting, they don't know you. They don't know you. You know what? You know that means your energy is just naturally mixed up because I was just chilling today. Uh, your energy is mixed up, bro. You're the other type of person to be like, bro, do you think that outfit looks good? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you do that? Listen. No, before we go, before we go, it's a week, it's, it's, it's in Sunday. a Sunday. This it's in Sunday. A, Sunday. Absolutely. I want to see the family out there. I want to see you lot in the house. I need to see that. Um, Listen. Yeah, it'll be amazing to have you guys. What a niche. Oh, that wow. one is Grab awesome. your tickets, guys. This show is going to be hilarious from start to finish. And you know what? It's, Announcement. It's, it's, it's just gone better. Hosting the show, it's going to be the queen of comedy, Angie Lamar herself. All right. Mondi's coming into it, bro. She listen. said, I'm back in my sons. She she said, yo, my oh, she told me I'm my son. It's going to be mad. You guys are hearing this first. Angie Lamar is going to be hosting Two Bowl Two Hilarious this Sunday. The announcement's going out officially tomorrow. You guys are getting the information now. It's going right. to be mad. That night, listen, bring paracetamol because you might catch a headache, bro. This is going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Again, apologies to anyone that didn't get on tonight. You saw how the night went. 
the barbershop was barbershopping, fam. So we just had to let it run and yeah. let it be. Listen, it's going to be incredible. Thank you for everyone that got involved in tonight's show. It was epic. It was special. Um, see you at the show. It's going to be lit. Sick. See, I've seen uh, Tony said he's got front row tickets. Ooh. Listen. It's gonna be oh, a special I'm so night. I'm so excited. All right, cool. Listen, let's get out of here, Travis. We stayed on longer than we expected, but yeah, it was right. worth it. You lot, for well, next time we're out, Travis. I want right. my money, Travis. If you don't pay me after this show, I swear to you, I'm paying you a thing, bro. You need to pay Spencer. Funny man, Donnie was just enjoying his evening.